Okay, this is a, a short video for my co-workers at Heritage Peak Charter School. Um, this is a quick tutorial on how to use the administrative account I've created on Schoology. So for those of you who have um, uh, been both patient yet frustrated with um, not being able to easily access your um, your homeroom children's uh, information. Uh, I'm trying to make some amends and actually make this thing uh, usable and relatively easy for you. Okay, so here you go. Very first thing you do is you go up to the top um, in your address bar and type out uh, Schoology. That's school, O-G-Y. Um, literally, you know, that's the spelling and yes, there's a pun in there, so go ahead and have fun with it. Um, my computer is being slow, but there we go. All right. So press enter. You will get a page that probably won't look exactly like um, this one right here. Um, this is the one that you use that will usually pop up after you've used it a few times. You'll probably get this page right here. Um, but either if you get either one you get, make sure to click login, and um, you will get a little drop down like this. Um, our username, everybody's um, at our school, is the general email like that. I'm going to mail the password to everybody um, so that I can maintain a little bit of security here. Um, so just look in your um, email. I will send you a password. Um, I'll put in the um, in the subject line. <clears throat> excuse me. Schoology administrative password. I'll just mail that out to you. Um, but once you've used it a couple times on your own computer, you can go ahead and memorize it, and it's relatively easy at that point. You'll just type Schoology um, or even bookmark that page, and this will pop right up once you press enter. Um, but here are the tricks. Here's how you avoid letting it be more annoying than I've already been to you. Once you get to this page, you're going to see a bunch of things on a student. Um, it will reflect whoever is the last person who logged in and looked at a student. So in this case, somebody was looking looking at good old Dathan here. Um, you don't want to use this to find a student. It's it, very annoying and I'm not exactly sure why, but it does not alphabetize in this little drop down. But don't let that make you upset. All you do is you open the drop down, scroll up to the very top, click on all children. All children will open up. Let's give it a second for um, that page to load and then you have the really really useful one you're going to get a summary page first it's going to have a whole bunch of um, details that you can ignore to the day you die but if you click on this right here click on grades and attendance <clears throat> then you will have a list in alphabetical order you will have all the students who are enrolled in my and mr tracy's classes so you can scroll down alphabetically find who you want to look at um, and then go ahead and pop it open. You will get my class for sure, but you will also get any classes that the same student will have with Mr. Tracy. Of course, you can also use Mr. Tracy's and look at his information, but what I'm trying to show you right now is the same for both classes. So if you go ahead and select mine, you'll get a drop down instantly um, that you can print, by the way. It's easy, pretty easy to do, but it will show all of the all of the grades that I have in so far and it will show whatever grades that child has for that um, assignment. Um, a couple of quick you know uh, uh, little piece of info here the asterisk the asterisk here actually means that um, I have not entered anything for them yet so um, we are just about to end week five right now I will be entering a grade for that really soon but in the meantime nothing yet um, no that's not a mistake down there this is a place where I let them get extra credit this is how they bump their grade up um, another thing to know is this is not true on all of them uh, but every assignment I have where they actually submit right here actually in the um, within the course um, they will have a little submitted icon here up for example, on this one right here, I just recently gave them a writing assignment. They had to submit it here. And as you can see from uh, the little uh, uh, drop-down note, it says that they have submitted something. Right here, we'll say they have submitted a post. So that's a good way for you to be able to know, um, have they been keeping up with their work? 
Um, for example, right here, if uh, this is one of your students, you see week five. Have they submitted anything because it's almost over? Yes, they have. You can rest at ease. Um, they are on top of their business. Um, but you can scroll down and see all of this information. You can print it and share it with them. Um, if you want more information, again, you don't have to, but this is one of the reasons why I chose Schoology um, and chose to not continue using the other program is this little piece right here and what it offers. You can actually click on a particular assignment and look at your students whoever whatever student you're actually reviewing you can look at their work look at their submissions um, that's a part that's particularly interesting and useful to me um, um, I can offer that to all of their parents similarly you can come up here at the grade and look at specifics that I put in for the rubric here Jade was just uh, truly rocking it so at any rate that's the um, that's the basics of uh, Schoology. Um, just remember the uh, one part that um, that can be a little bit annoying is when you come here. Remember to open this up. Go to all children. Then you'll have access to an alphabetical list that makes the whole thing kind of simple and worthwhile. All right. Thanks again for being so patient, you guys. And any questions, please let me know. I'm so happy to sit down with you and walk you through this.